Okay, here's how to reset these phones. Uh, you hit menu, and you go down to settings, and hit the right arrow. Go to advanced, hit the right arrow again. The password is 456. Click this button up here for enter. Um, go to admin settings, which is the first one. Scroll down to reset to default. It has two things here, reset local config and reset device setting. We're going to do both of those, but we have to do them one at a time. So hit reset local config, say yes. It's going to say wait. And the phone will restart at that point. The screen might look a little weird um, while it's doing that. That's fine. So I'm going to pause the video while it's restarting. Okay, so I'm bringing it back up. Right now it'll have like our uh, IP address, some other information. It's the MAC address. It's called eNet. Um, all right, so it came back up like normal. You can check your directory now if that was your issue and uh, see if it came back or not. Um, and Or whatever issue you happen to be having while you're resetting the phone. And then we're going to go in and reset the other thing. So we're going to settings again, advanced. 6 is our password, uh, admin, reset to default, and this time we're going to choose reset device setting, and it's going to ask you if you really want to, you say yes, um, I think sometimes it, you click on it and um, it doesn't seem like it did anything, but that's just because it uh, is resetting. I clicked it twice just to make sure. Alright, so... going to wait for that to reset. And I'm going to pause it just to save time here. Okay, so kind of the same thing as before, but now we want to go into this setup section. It's going to, because it lost those settings. Password again is 456. Say OK to that. Now I need to scroll down until I get to something that says server menu. And then I can hit select on that. Scroll down until I get to where it says server address. It should be the second thing. I'm going to click edit. I need to hit this that goes from the little a to the uppercase uh, a with the one. It's the first thing on the left here. This makes it so the keypad types numbers. And I'm going to type 192 dot, which I use the star for. Uh, so 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 7. And I'll say OK to that and then I'll hit exit on here uh, to the right and hit exit again to get out of that menu and then I have save and reboot so I'm going to select that it says saving configuration and then uploading log file and then it's going to reboot and we get the polycom logo it has the welcome, how many seconds until boot. Uh, just let it count down. This time we're not going to go into setup. And once it counts down, you'll get this waiting for network to initialize. And then if you get to this point where it says uh, updating configuration and loading application and then running sip dot LD, uh, you know you've done it correctly. It will take longer if you're not um, if you're at a branch because the connection's a little bit slower. The the phone server is you know 50 feet from me right now, so it's a little bit quicker. Um, but this reruns all the different setups and stuff, and will generally fix anything that went wrong with the phone. And now we've got the same thing where it has the IP address and the MAC address and the version of the phone software that it's running, which is 3130439. Uh, that doesn't matter that much, though. So it'll sit on this screen for a minute. Hopefully not a whole minute. And there we go. Back to normal.